What's going on guys, I'm Pooh, and welcome back to another video on the channel. It's an all weird day vlog. I can't wait to get down to Wolverine. I mean, I said this in Doncaster game. Being back in the ground in the concourse, sipping those £4.50 pints, pissed as fuck with all the way fans. I mean, it's, it's just so good. You can't get it anywhere else. I mean, I, I missed it so much. And again, I said in this last video, I would try and do the full house this season. I would attempt to go to every single away match. With Southampton and Brighton, those two are going to test me big time, but... The rest of them I will 100% go to, so don't worry about that. But Anyway though, as always, if you are new to the channel, you get down and subscribe. Pass right and enjoy, appreciate the support as always. Uh, I will be going to the Burton game on Friday, so again, if you are new to the channel, you have to subscribe so you don't miss that video. But uh, I'll try not to fist bump Steve Bruce today, I'll be honest, but yeah, I was seriously pissed. <laughs> I'll be honest, but uh, now a lot of people said you should be like, you should be slagging them off. I mean, there's no point, it's not going to change anything, so I'm not going to be a dick to the guy, but... Yeah, he is, he is a German sound blog. He's just not good enough for the job. But that's what I've got to say about him. But yeah, I'm not going to be a dick one. Well, that's pretty good off the way. But uh, in terms of Rotherham, I haven't been there stadium before, but it looks pretty decent. Uh, I know Burton's obviously hasn't got any seats there, so we'll be part of Terrace. Looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, in terms of today, though, again, just expecting an easy win. Castle falling, I'm going to put down. Uh, I think Rotherham will be a lot easier on Doncaster. I think Doncaster... I don't know what it is about them. They had a really good match against Will. Uh, I still think Newcastle deserved the win, but I think Doncaster did give you a decent game. But today I'm expecting us to be a lot better. I think, again, you know, some players get a bit more fitter. I'm hoping the likes of Sam Maxson start turning on today. And then, uh, yeah, expecting a 4-0 win. But anyway, guys, without well, further ado, let's head down there now. <clears throat> oh, I would say the Wolverine Stadium. I mean, for a League 1 team, pretty good stadium. But definitely a lot modernised, you can see from the sort of side entrance this year. But in general, though, yeah, pretty good shot in the bathroom to come across here. But... Uh, in terms of the ground though, pretty good one, I think it's a lot better than Doncaster 1 in terms of League 1 side but Again, no, I expect Newcastle will be comfortable in this game but Tim Stave, no, yeah, definitely want to recommend if any League 1 teams out there but uh, Well, again, there's a little shot at the front there but uh, you guys are further, let's head into the stadium now Alright, in the stadium now, in terms of the lineup, uh, of course Sir Maxman's out with some illness or something so Get well soon Sir Maxman but in terms of the team though, I'm pretty happy with it uh, I think starting Fraser and Wilson, of course, are massive. I think those two would definitely do well against the League One side. I think likes of Gale as well. You expect them to do quite well in this sort of fixture. But again, this is pre-season. These players are getting fit again. In terms of this matchup, though, I've said 4-0 no men, and I'm still sticking by. I expect Newcastle to come to win this game. But listen, you never know in a pre-season match. Anything can happen. Of course, 10 years ago, we lost 6-1 to Leighton Orion. So listen, anything can happen. But in terms of so I'm confident today. I think the players can keep all the momentum from Doncaster game. And uh, hopefully we're a nice, smooth game. But... Of course, Burton's a big one next week. Uh, no, this Friday, sorry, actually. Uh, of course, no terraces and I was getting the big players back. But in terms of this game, no Tuesday night. All right, it's probably a good performance because I spent a lot of money to come here. So, give me a good one, Newcastle. Come on, boys. Newcastle sort of uh, set plays here on the training pitch. One cross box to Wilson, yeah, all trying to dummy there. Lewis, I don't think he's doing. Castle, some set plays, yeah. Oh, some nice little play going on here. Come on, lads. Oh, what a finish that is. And stop going the game, that easy goal. But, uh, I was interested to see the players sort of throw it together because obviously uh, like Freddie Wood, I like Freddie Woodman, I just need to put things with my team. So, so the goal's there. Good cheap in that one. That's about what you expect from a bit cheap ball. Fuck me, man. It's like a defender. And it's 15 minutes of kickoff, and you see how many empty seats are. I mean, I know a lot of people go work tonight, but still, though, I feel like it should be more Newcastle fans here in general. Uh, I mean, Wolverine's not a team we play very often, so in a pre-season match, I expect more be here, especially with Corona you never know when things are going to change, so... Yeah, I would... Not, oh, how are you? They hit me, Richie. <laughs> yeah, stupid gun. But uh, anyway, yeah. I felt like more fans should have been here, but... In general, though, I hope it's good to still get some fans out here, but... I'm burning on the whole fans, and sell out, and everyone wants to on Friday night, but... In terms of tonight, though, I mean, as you can see, yeah, it's more okay, came, I'll be honest. <laughs> Is it? 
Tommy. Tune up with this one. Got a lot of bodies in the box. Oh, no, I mean, it's not good enough that like, you pass it probably on first ball there. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, an awful, it's an awful fucking carnival. Wobble have got a drama corner. This is unbelievable. This. We are getting destroyed. Our hand even got out of half. This is unbelievable. Oh, come in. Good punch by Woodman there, but the team's got to push out straight away. The line's too deep yeah, it should be further. We still got it as well. Yeah, we've got it, I'll tell you. Oh, a counter here. Not with that Hayden. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, there we go. Sean, that's more like it. Actually, Sean's a tackle. Castleman, no chance here. Things are good footwear, I'll go on. I don't know why I put back out there. We're in the box here. Who wants a good ball back? Oh, Q has fucked it. Got back in the centre. Oh my god, that was literally two yards out. I don't know, that long stuff again, you fraud. The half time one, no, uh, Rob, I mean, you have to find absolutely booing the shit on the team. I don't blame them, to be honest. It's a disgusting half, absolutely disgusting. In terms of how you play, I mean, Rob, I have underestimated quite a bit. I said we'll be beaten 4 0 easily, and I mean, yeah, I've been by far the better team. Probably should have been two or three up, to be honest. Uh, you guys have had a couple of chances before the end of the half, but disgusting, absolutely disgusting. The performance is terrible. I know for a fact a lot of people are going to be, uh, blame Steve Bruce for this, but this team is full of Premier League proven players, except for Freddie Woodman. All these have played Premier League football, all of them know how to play it. Half the team's international stars, and we're losing to uh, Robin, so listen, the team is just, just disgusting so far. Wilson, Richie, Longstaff, those three have missed massive chances in the game. And uh, yeah, in general, shocking, absolutely shocking. I'm pissed off. Chances are, I can't see us winning this game. I think a draw, we could potentially get a draw out of it, but I think in general, the Newcastle would just be terrible. I really can't see any subs that are going to come on and change this game that big because there's no same maximum that he's of course got an illness. So whoever comes on, I mean, good luck changing this side because we have been shite. But uh, Newcastle better get a grip because, wow, that was disgusting. Oh, boys. Oh. Oh, look, he's a very good ball ever. Gil just couldn't get the end of it. Good start, though. Oh, Gil. Oh, good space. He's going to shoot all. Ooh, look, look, good effort. Bit too easy to go for you, man, look. No, I know a corner. I mean, I don't know how he's on turning up. But he's turning up now. Oh, there he before, I mean, I am actually a chance, but just somehow missed it. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, that team is good. The Castleville corner, I'll be honest, is one of the worst 11s I've ever seen today. I mean, fuck, you know, I mean, it was score goal, I mean, that's a miracle. Come on. Oh, he's just chested it away, the 56, a new kid. I don't even know who he is. Oh. Has to come in, has to come in straight away. All the lights go push up. Oh, he's taking to a long line, he's going to fucking come up here. Oh, the kids coming on. Oh, lucky. Oh, how are lads? Somebody's a player that you always never might be the walker in the team. Should be, should be scoring any time. Hi. What is that for a corner, by the way? Oh, jeez. We still, still got a chance. We're going to get it, or? That is actually a shocking corner. Oh, we, can't, we can't lose this game. At least draw the game. Come on. There's my man, Jesus Christ has scored, come on, there we are, and fuck for that, there we are, what a header that is, two of them all trying to spot and that header, come on, finally someone's turned up, fucking hell, Jeff Hendrick, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
one more song for I mean, this one lose at the end, but still no nothing in the back at all. I'll get the outro of the video done now, I mean, let's be honest, shit. Uh, the good part is we didn't lose the game, I did not have that embarrassing. Uh, and even though, obviously, the result on paper was terrible, um, I'm glad we drew the game, especially the youngsters on the pitch, you know, the fact we still managed to come back from a goal down, deep, like, isn't as bad as Potter could have been, but uh, still, let's be real, uh, we should have won on paper. We had international players playing, and it's not good enough at all. And Burton, we better win, let's be honest, a full 3,500 fans there for the Burton match, you've got to win that one, but... Uh, in terms of this one though, um, I'm pretty peed off about the result, but at least we didn't lose. It could have been worse like the York game last week, so yeah, it could have been worse, but uh, not good enough at all. And uh, let's see how things go next week, but anyway guys, take care, and yes, I'll see you on the next one.